All right, we're back. Now, I know the last video was a little bit uneventful. We caught some lobster. It was really tough fishing. Um, we did manage to get lucky on the last one. So if you haven't checked that video out, check it out. Um, but you already know, I'm back down here in the warm water area of California. So while I'm here, of course, I gotta try and catch another yellowtail. Last time I came down, down here, I got so lucky. Came out here in an afternoon bite and just boom, got my first one. It was, it was addicting to say the least. So I'm back out here today. We're gonna try to get another one. Today I'm here for a normal fishing session. Arrived in the morning, just filled up my new uh, live well that I just built um, with mackerel and one sardine actually. So we got a lot of bait. We just gotta find some fish to eat it. Now I've heard, I I said this last time, but I heard that the bonito fishing was somewhat hot right now, whereas the uh, yellowtail and everything else, sea bass are somewhat slow. So I'm happy to catch bonito. I mean, I, I caught half of one last time. I ate it. It was really good. So um, yeah, I'd be happy to catch another one, but we're trolling right now. I got a Rapala on this rod right here and I'm gonna put a live bait on the rod behind you. Just like last time, it worked last time, so why change it? So anyways, yeah, we're paddling out to the fishing area now. It's about 9.15. We're gonna see if we can find some fish. Man, I'm excited. So yeah, that system's a game changer. I mean, now I'm gonna have no problem keeping my bait alive. Before, it was always a struggle. I could only keep like a few baits alive. So I was having to go back and forth to get more bait. And then when I was getting bait, I couldn't get that much, otherwise I'd kill it. So anyways, this is a game changer. If you wanna see more about this setup that I have here, let me know. Maybe I'll do it in another video. But right now, we're going for yellowtail. And Benito. How's it going? Well, pretty good. Marked a couple times here. Cool. Good luck, man. So that's Chris Blevins. You should definitely check out his channel if you're interested in this kind of fishing. When I first, you know, knew I was gonna come down here, I searched up like yellowtail fishing, SoCal or whatever, and his channel comes up. So he's got a lot of good information. I learned a lot from him. Not only is he catching yellowtail, he's also really good with the fish finder. So personally, I didn't know that much about the fish finder. So um, he helped me a lot with that. So anyways, check out his channel. I'll leave it linked in the description. Hopefully, he and I both catch one. He said he broke off one this morning, so there's definitely some fish around. He said he saw some on the finder. So, we're just gonna work this area. I'm gonna work my way out a little bit deeper. He's gonna try in shallow for now, and uh, we'll see if we can find him out, figure him out. Oh, 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 there's a run. Oh, it's on the, something's boiling it on the surface. I think it's Bonito. I don't know if you, can you see that? I think they got it now. It was literally busting it on the surface. All right. We're on. I think this is Bonito, but I'll take it. Charging me, charging the kayak. Oh yeah, look at it go. Right on the surface. Not a bad one. Take it. All right. First fish of the day. That was so cool. Once, once he first hit the mackerel or was chasing it, I looked back because I saw it was pulling a little bit. The Just the strength of the mackerel being chased by this bonito um, sent the, it was pulling a little bit of drag or pulling the clicker. And then I saw the mackerel jump clean out of the water and you could see the like splash behind it, which was this guy right here. Not quite as big as the bonito that we caught last time but 
that's still a nice little fish there. We'll make a couple of really nice fillets. Actually, when I took home the yellowtail and the bonito, some people are probably gonna think I'm crazy, but people actually like the bonito better. I think because it was prepared so well. So one thing, one key with these is you gotta bleed them really quick, which I'm doing here, ouch, by just ripping the gills, and then get them on ice immediately. So that's why I have this kayak bag right here um, with ice filled in it already. So this guy will be taken care of nicely. And that's our first fish. We're gonna see if we can either find A, some bigger bonito now, or B, a yellowtail. We're just making our way out. We haven't quite made it to like the promised land where I caught the yellowtail last time. All right, that's all I caught on right there. No weight, just a little size one hook with the mackerel. See if there's any bigger models out here. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Something just grabbed it. Yep, something's got it. I'm gonna give him a few seconds. Yeah, definitely got it. Maybe not. Yeah, he got hit by something. I don't know what though. Maybe a yellowtail? You guys let me know what you think. There's not really like, you, you can tell he's banged up, but not really like big teeth marks like a bonito you'd think would. I don't know, maybe it was a yellowtail. All right, we'll get another one back. Well guys, update, 1.30. What time did I say we started? I think it was like 8.30, was it 7.30? I don't know, I don't remember. It's been a while, a lot of trolling around. Worked up and down in between. A lot of lobster buoys. Anywhere from like 60 feet all the way out to like 130. Not much. Caught one bonito. I think two that hitched that just didn't get hooked. I don't know what they were. And then one more that was hooked for a little while and then just popped off. I don't know. So, been tough, but they are getting some bites. I think, I'm not sure if they're bonito. The ones that I'm missing are bonito or yellowtail or what, but... At least there are some fish out here. So, probably gonna give it another, I don't know, hour or two. Hopefully I can get another bite here. Oh, something picked it up on the way in as I was bringing it in. I'm gonna let him take it a little bit. You know, I'm gonna let him take it a lot. Been missing too many. Got him. What is this? Oh, it's heavy. Oh, this, this has potential. Oh, you know, I think it's Bonita. Actually, I don't know. Oh, I gotta get on top of it, though. What is this? 
Oh yeah, bonito. <laughs> bonito. Oh god, look at that. These guys are strong. Oh. Oh man. Got a second win there. This guy hit it. Literally, I was bringing in because I, I thought I had, oh my god. Yeah. I thought I had some seaweed on the line. Um, so I was bringing it in to check my bait. Wow, look at that. Strong, strong fish. Um, I was bringing it in to check my bait. Oh man. Dude, this guy, he got stronger as he, uh, as he goes. At first, I don't think he, he knew he was hooked. He was just kind of swimming towards my kayak. But then right when he got, oh, every time too. Oh man, <laughs> can't even keep it up off the side of the kayak. Wow, this guy's strong. Okay, come on. Anyway, he wasn't really fighting much until I got him right next to the kayak. Oh, God. There he is. Oh, it's a nice one. I have a feeling he's gonna go on another run here. No, no, no. Oh yeah, this is a really nice one. Got him. Didn't even need the gaff. This is like the one that that shark ate from me. That's a good one right there. That's a nice bonita right there. At least for here. I'm not sure how big these get. Probably a lot bigger than this, but for me, that's a really nice one. Similar size to the uh, one, if you watch my other video, shark ate from about here off. So I only got this filet this time. We're getting the full filet. Yeah, that's a nice one. We will definitely take that one. Huh, it's about time. I, I lost so many fish. I think most of them were bonita that just weren't able to swallow the hook. I mean, we're, we're really, we're targeting yellowtail, um, but we will definitely take bonito. And you can tell, I mean, they're, they're a little bit smaller than the yellowtail, the mouths are smaller. So um, sometimes it's, it's harder for them to get the whole bait in their mouth. So this one, I let him take it a lot. Let him take it for a good, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds at least, I think. And uh, we got him, finally. But, all right, maybe things are starting to heat up here. It's two o'clock now. Hopefully the bite's about to turn on a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of this one. And then we'll, uh, what are we gonna do? We're gonna put our line back in. That's what we're gonna do. So you can see on this one, you see where it's like the line is kinked? That's where it was at the side of the mouth and the rest was inside the mouth. So right here is where there's gonna be a lot of uh, potential frays. And yeah, I could feel it. You probably can't see it on the camera, but I can feel a lot of fray marks right there. So I'm gonna cut right above that, probably about here. Retie that hook, same hook. Um, just cut off this little portion because this portion is now weak. Because um, like I was saying with the other Bonito, they have definitely some sharp teeth there and they'll fray it up. So we'll recut, put another bait on, and get back in there. So I have to give a shout out to Kylie and Adam, not me, different Adam. Um, you know who you are. They hooked me up with some bait midday here to keep me fishing. And that's what this fish hit on. So thank you to you guys. I probably would not have caught it without your guys' help. So thank you. But let's get it back in and see if we can get another one. Man, the power on those fish is crazy. For such a small fish, those tuna, I mean, I guess it's a tuna, it's a small tuna, so it, I mean, it makes sense, but it's just crazy how small of a fish, like it's probably like a maybe four or five pounder, maybe, maybe no, nah, maybe five or six pounder, I don't know. It's not a huge bonito, but man, that can they pull. Like if you, if you caught like a five or six pound striped bass, it wouldn't like it wouldn't be able to pull drag at all. Just the way I have it set right now. But that one just like stripping drag, no problem. It's crazy. 
Look at that. Is this a bonito? Oh, come on. Come on. It's running at me. I think this is bonito. Yeah. When you, oh, it's gonna take off. It's another good one. It's another good one. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Interesting, these Bonito, they, they like pl almost play dead for a while. And then once they get right next to the boat, then they start running. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, it's another good one. Another good one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I think there's a big school of them below me. I can see a bunch of fish. You know what I'm going to do right now? Oh my God. I'm going to leave this one hanging and put my other rod in. I have a dropper loop set up here. I'm gonna drop this one down. Might regret this, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Okay, I'm just gonna have to leave it there. Okay. If I double up here, that'll be fun. Okay. Oh yeah, it's another good one. Ooh. Okay, let's get him to this side. Get over it. Ah, dang it. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. All right, let's get this one in. Solid Benito. I think actually the the last one was a little bit bigger, but still this one's really good. Nice fish. You can see, look at how big those eyes are. That's why these fish are such good visual predators. And one of the reasons why using light line, although not too light, really pays off because they're really, like I said, they're really visual. So they can see really well. Some other fish, you know, like, well, a lot of the fish back home in the Bay Area, the line size doesn't matter too much. I mean, it's always good to go lighter, just in general, gives it a more natural presentation, but um, but these fish, any kind of tuna, they have really good eyesight. So the light line really helps. All right, guys, that is gonna do it for today. It was a fun day out here. I didn't get that yellowtail, but I got three really nice bonito. And uh, like I said earlier, I don't know why, People seem to hate on the Bonito down here, but for me, it's actually, it's almost as good, if not better than the Yellowtail. The only thing it doesn't have is the size. I mean, the size of Yellowtail in the fight, you can't really match that with a Bonito. But anyway, still a fun day out here. Got my three nice Bonito. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.